about three years ago when I was still going to the cemetery, seminary uh, in Howard Hendricks Bible study methods class they have one day of the year where everyone has to do something creative and you would not believe some of the things these guys come up with well some some people get to perform these before the class and I was one of the ones that was picked but anyway it was uh, having to do with the third chapter of Acts and you had to do something creative with the first 11 verses and so my offering was I've got the Acts chapter 3 thumb picking blues <laughs> folks this is unlike most songs you'll hear in church so loosen up <laughs> John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer. They passed a man lame from his birth whom others had to bear. Well, he sat in front of the beautiful gate and begged for his care. Never knowing, no one showing whether anyone would care. Those that did were rare, but he had to make the dare even if everyone did stare. It just didn't seem fair. <laughs> now about this time, Peter and John walked into sight. The beggar man made his move, fully expecting a fight. He stretched out his palm and asked for an arm, only hoping they would see his plight. Then he closed his eyes, expecting lies, yet still hoping that they just might. After all, he should have that right. Compared to him, their needs were slight. But most people looked at him with spite. And his future just didn't look very bright. Now Peter, turning, looked on the man and said, get up and stand. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, be healed, and he reached out to him with his hand. The man leaped up, his legs were whole, for this he had not planned. He went jumping, leaping, shouting for joy. By a miracle, he took off and ran. Didn't need a crutch or help from a man. No walking lessons, believe that if you can. It was a miracle, it was a sign from God, and it was sudden, sufficient, supernatural, and sovereign. <laughs> now the three of them entered the temple where they were going to pray, but the man was making so much noise everyone turned to say, is not this the man that sat at the gate and begged this very day? They were all wondering at this strange sight, amazed at his display. But he was the only true worshiper that day. Everyone else just came to play. Though the sacrifices, they all came to slay. The new covenant and blood was here to stay. Now, this is a touching story and so God has something to teach us, I know man who was lame worshiped God in joy, acting as if he were a little boy. The people in the temple worshiped quite dignified, doing only that which the rules signified. Well, we have both kinds of worshipers today. Some praise God and rejoice in the way. Others with frowns on their faces often relay an attitude, which we need not say. Well, they look like someone just slipped them a mildewed fig. Or like their face was just discovered on an archaeological dig. <laughs> well, they kept the zag but forgot the zig. Oh, I've seen better faces on a pig. <laughs> oh, like the lame man let me be, giving thanks for all I see. 
praising God with a heart that's free, ever rejoicing for what he means to me.